All right, so we realized that the goals after Apollo um, and really in rockets were just to keep doing it for doing it and spending money's sake. But what about everyone else? Yeah, so by the, um, the, the 2000 or so, yeah. the Americans had more or less priced themselves out of the commercial that's launch right, market. That's right. Um, their, their space shuttle and their Delta rockets were so expensive that they were only used for U.S. government contracts and exactly. U.S. defense contr contracts. Who were the same people building those other components as well. Yes, and so the way you made money was not design a better rocket, but hire ex-astronauts to lobby and get the high price contracts to yourself. And That's so they right. were very happy. And the people who were paying the money for it were very happy because it was more money spent on jobs in their constituencies. Exactly. So that, and there was cost plus contracts to develop new rockets. That's right. So you know, we will pay you whatever it takes. Um, and so there was no real incentive uh, so, in fact, the launch market became dominated by the Russians and yes. by the uh, Europeans. So the Russian proton family of rockets uh, was... The workhorse of a lot of groups, especially in Europe. Yes, uh, and so that was, that was great. Uh, and the European Space Agency's rocket was not exactly cheap. That's right. It was still cheaper than these incredibly bloated price American ones, so the Ariana 5. Yep. Uh, which, uh, had the benefit of launching from a space pot on the equator, which gives it a bit more oomph to get into orbit. That's right. And was a little bit cheap, and so it tended to dominate the, the launch market for a long time. Yep. Um, the Chinese long march rockets are probably the cost leaders, the most uh, cheapest and most efficient. Uh, but because of technology transfer requirements, anything that uses American technology, which is almost everything, yep. was generally not allowed to be launched on a Chinese rocket. That's right. So they can launch Chinese rockets, but it's very hard for them to compete in the commercial market. Yep. So this was a situation until the last five or ten years when Elon Musk's company SpaceX comes along. And they brought the price, especially for the Falcon 9, down drastically. And we're going to take a look at that in the next video. That's right.